Hi, Matt. Bergstrom Acura of Appleton. Taking a look to see what they have available in their lot. Looking to see if there are any bargains in this world. So far, I can tell you there aren't really any bargains in this world. I am seeing a lot of 2024 vehicles. Not seeing that many 2025s. A couple places I've seen some uh, 2023s. SH all wheel drive. That looks fun. I, I, well, it's, I mean, this is the Honda's high end brand. Oh, that's not really off from a Honda price. You would think the Acura would be a little uh, better built. Oh, that's used. No wonder. Okay. So they've got, yeah, because here's a Buick in the uh, front row. Sold on that one. 2022. Yeah, because here's an Accord. Only 20 grand for 2018 Accord. Over 100,000 miles. Isn't that amazing? How some of these cars hold their value. The cord is definitely one that holds its value. All right, this uh, kind of lines up to the highway and I am on the uh, front of road side. So very possibly the uh, good ones are uh, out by the road or out by the highway. ZDX. Okay, that chrome line reminds me of a Hearst. $70,000. Another ZDX. So much stuff is all wheel drive now. Especially with the uh, electric motors, it's so easy to make something all wheel drive. All right, there's a 2025, 2025. Kind of tells you the health of a brand, how many uh, 2024s they have left on their lot. Uh, being September of 2024. But everybody's just got so many mid-sized sedans. Uh, I'm sorry, not sedan, mid size SUVs. That's 50, and that's a little bit smaller one. I mean, size does definitely play into price. I guess if I was trying to build a brand, or kind of stumbling through the service area here, oh, maybe I can't even get through this. Looks like this is uh, blocked off, and you gotta go around the other way. So has some of the trim on. See, all these uh, sedans are, you know, 50, 60 grand, and Right around 20 miles to the gallon. I keep calling them sedans. All these SUVs. Ah, it just keeps feeling like you could run these out of the same factory, like every brand, every make. Oh, we are next door to uh, Genesis. See, here's a GV80. Kind of blurring together. But see, look at this. Same miles to the gallon, 67,000. Maybe a touch more expensive. In the 2025 Genesis. But just back to the story that you could uh, run them all out of the same factory because they're so similar. Yeah, that's all there was for uh, Acura. It's not a huge amount. You do have those ones out on the grass, but that's kind of a hike to get out there. This will uh, talk about Genesis while we're in here since it's all part of the same thing. We've got their separate service center. It's like uh, another used car area. It's funny how each lot has its own uh, used car area. They don't uh, combine that. There are a few used Genesis over here. GV80. Let's see what depreciation is on this. Oh, it doesn't even have. Oh, maybe that's service or something. It's got a uh, some sort of tag. Uh, used Kia. Use Acura, nothing's got tags. All right, here's some more GV80s. All right, this is used. It's like 10,000 miles. 53,000 on a 2024. 65 over there. Been seen a lot with like 10,000 miles. I don't know if that's like uh, salespeople or managers or something driving those. G70, this is kind of low. Yeah, I see 6,000 miles. Yeah, like those are the ones the staff drives. A6 Quattro. We had Audi earlier. This is nice. 15,000 miles. 25,000 bucks. Up in three. 
the row of Accus out there on the grass. Walk back around the building, see what else Genesis has. Genesis is another one that I don't think I've ever been to. I guess I've just never had a dealership near me or I've never known somebody that's had one, so it's just never come to forefront of my mind. I'm not even sure who makes those. And Acura, of course, is uh, formed by Honda somehow. And Genesis definitely looks uh, high-end. You got the little uh, wings, makes it look like a Bentley. You got more fountains than anybody else. GV70, GV80, and the G70. So a little bit of selection up here, 50 grand. The sedan, 52, so that's a smaller one. And yeah, I see 78,000 for that. Nicer, lower mileage. It's a really nice dealership. I mean, look at all the glass. They have uh, put some real money into this. So that's Highway 41. Thinking about some of the brands that I've never really dealt with. My parents had a Peugeot as a kid and there was a Peugeot dealer over here somewhere. So when they needed parts, they would uh, have to run to Appleton to get parts for their Peugeot. It's been a long time since Peugeot was in the United States though. I don't know if the regulations are that bad or why manufacturers pull out. They weren't the most reliable brand, but still, you think that uh, I don't have enough country to sell in to be able to figure out something that would work. I don't know, make mid-sized SUVs like everybody else, I guess. I would think price point would win you at this point. So everybody's got a budget they gotta be within. Now that is the uh, Genesis and Acura dealership. If anybody has any uh, knowledge or opinion on Genesis, please let me know. It's kind of a cute little hatchback. Yeah, I say cute and it's 80 grand. You can see that's really small, but they have some traditional sedans. Yeah, I'd probably find the uh, used one. All right, this is funny. It looks like a little plaque to put something on on the front of that. Lots of detail, but I just don't see anything that's making them stand out. At least visually speaking. Actually, Hyundai probably has the most that make them stand out of any of the brands. They're doing some other different things. But uh, that is Genesis and Acura of Appleton.